Just leaving Samson today, riding along the Black Sea. Black Sea is not fully a sea because it is a bit saline, but not really saline like an ocean. Black Sea largely gets its water from three major rivers, Danube being the biggest of them, flowing through Europe and entering Black Sea. Of course, there's Dawn and there's another one starting with D, whatever its name, long time since I kept down my geography books. For fifty-year-old geography, I'm doing okay <laughs> Fifty-year-old geography lessons. We had a geography teacher, his name was Syed Peer. Oh, he was a very angry man, but really good with the subject. So though he was always angry and yelling, I still listened to him because he had many valuable things to say. So, only thing is I didn't remember the third river, hmm? So, uh, Black Sea, as you know, uh, is uh, the one abutting this side Turkey, that side jo uh, Georgia, now Crimea, Ukraine, uh, and also Eastern, uh, this thing is uh, probably Romania, yes, and maybe a piece of Bulgaria also. So, it's an important trade route. Right now, the other end of the Black Sea is in war. Black Sea was essentially a lake at one time. When I say one time, could have been maybe seven, eight thousand or ten thousand years ago. And it got its uh, marine qualities because uh, when the oceans were much lower than what it was, then it was just a freshwater lake. But as oceans rose, approximately, the Greeks claim it's 5,600 years, others have other opinions. Anyway, uh, somewhere, 8, 10,000, 15,000 years ago maybe, uh, because of the rise of the Mediterranean, it pushed the Marmara Sea, uh, the Bosphorus as we know, uh, which uh, separates the Asian part of uh, Turkey and the European part of Turkey, when, uh, because of the rise of the Mediterranean Sea, Marmara Sea overflowed into the Black Sea and uh, the Bosphorus was formed because of the Bosphorus Sill. A certain amount of uh, marine water got into this and it's become semi-marine kind of uh, ecosystem, very unique in its own way. I'm sure I don't know much about what kind of fish and what kind of uh, life exists, but uh, I know from what exists around the Indian subcontinent, which is a band of uh, ecosystem which unfortunately is being severely depleted, which is half marine and half river water, has uh, unique qualities and unique ecosystem and unique kinds of lives which evolve there. Uh, they should have something like that, if not the same. So, unfortunately, at the other end of the uh, you can see right now we are riding along the Black Sea. It doesn't look black, it looks absolutely uh, blue and spectacularly colored. I was looking forward to see a sea which is black because we come from the land of black soil. <laughs> so, we have a fascination for black, but this is nowhere near black. It's bluish sea, very beautiful looking. Lots of ships out there, uh, both trade and military, I think. So, at the other end of Black Sea, unfortunately, there is a war. War is a terrible thing, what to do? Such a beautiful atmosphere. Let's not talk about terrible things for now. On the right side is mountains, left side is the ocean. Hope my camera is catching something beautiful. Absolutely spectacular out here. And as you know, Bosphorus is a connecting piece of water where a tremendous amount of trade and merchant shipping happens. Mm. And Turkey enjoys both sides of the Bosphorus. So, we are riding through the last part of Turkish ride for us, entering Georgia, probably in another three and a half hours to four hours maybe. So, today is a long ride nearly 670 kilometers. 
and uh, well uh, because of mountainous conditions and also the border crossing it could be eight to nine hours of ride but <laughs> from an eighteen hour grueling ride from Bucharest to Istanbul uh, nine hours is very nice. People were asking me, Sadhguru, how do you manage to plan like this that you want to move three to four billion people? I said, see, I've cut down my plans to half because when I decided to share the possibility of engineering your interiority in such a way that every human being can be blissful, forty years ago, I was thinking of the whole population. Now I've <laughs> scaled it down to half the population. Ah, see what age can do to you. <laughs> oh, half the population, what to do? But of course, people are increasing the population. <laughs>